Uh, good morning. I wanted just to take some time and express my uh, really heartfelt appreciation for the phenomenal outpouring um, of friendship, of support, of solidarity, of good wishes, of love, care, and kindness that uh, I've been receiving since letting people know about my intention to disrobe. And there's been a couple of questions that people have asked me, and I thought, you know, I can answer those questions and then periodically give you some updates as to how this process is going for me, because it's, it's truly a remarkable process. Um, you know, on one hand, uh, I feel sadness, I feel grief. Uh, 28 years of my life I've lived in monasteries and, or as a monastic, as a nun, and um, it's an ending of a chapter, so there's definitely a grieving, a letting go, a dying process. But there's also an emergence of something that's new. Um, quite a bit of it is totally unknown, and some of it is exciting, some of it is daunting. Some of it is very evocative in terms of eliciting um, really early mind states. Some of it is unconscious, uh, the unconscious material that was part of the motivation for our why I went and became a, a nun in the first place. And so all of that is here available for, um, for the possibility of seeing, for understanding, and for integration. In terms of simple, practical things, I have um, every intention of staying in Santa Rosa. I'm living in an apartment, which is also the Awakening Truth Learning Center, where we have meditations and discussions, and I'm going to continue to stay here. And uh, I, th I think my name is going to continue to be Amatana Santi. Uh, you know, this is one of these remarkable, life-changing circumstances where you end up you know, just asking yourself, well, what's my name? You know, what's my name? You know, how do I want to look? What do I want to wear? How do I want to show up in the world? And I'm living into the question. I'm not completely sure yet, but I think my name is Anatana Santi. And, you know, some of the men have been saying, oh, they can't wait to hug me. They can't wait to hug me. And on, on one hand, there's just a tremendous sense of warmth and affection about that outpouring of just you know, wanting to experience skin kindness. And on another hand, you know, one of the things that I can see is that living as a nun and wearing robes is a tremendous protection from all kinds of things. And one of the ways that it's a protection is from the tremendous amount of sensitivity that I have and uh, interacting in the world. And so it, it might be that I'm going to be the non-hugging Amaji for a while, that I'm going to need to be completely sovereign as to who and how and when I hug. And it has very much nothing to do with you, and it has everything to do with um, what I'm navigating in my own capacity at the moment. So just um, have some patience, and, and uh, let's see how this all unfolds. And... I, I'll keep you posted as I'm able with updates as to how things are going for me and really to know that your outpouring of care and support and wanting to stay in touch and wish me well and sense of, of whatever it is that you've expressed. Many have expressed a sense of gladness or a sense of rightness. Some of you have expressed a sense of sadness and and all of it is true. All of it is right. There isn't any of it that, that doesn't have a place in this picture. There's all, it all belongs. So, um, my heart, my heart, my heart receives your care. And I just wanted to let you know. Thank you.